I, I had a few more hits on the video than I was expecting, so apparently a lot of people are, or a few people are searching for solutions to fixing a rotted or a water damaged door frame. So I just want to show you what I ended up doing to fix my little problem. Um, we, there was water damage down here where the water had seeped up underneath the door frame and, and rotted this out and water was leaking into my sunroom here. Uh, what we ended up doing is just get, uh, cutting off about the, the bottom six to eight inches right here and I got a scratch piece of two by four and a table saw and cut it to, to fit the dimensions of this piece. And once we cut it, we stuck it in here, got some shims to hold it plumb with the rest of it, nailed it in place and you can see we caulked it right here to seal that to keep water from getting in there. There was a groove right here. I'm not going to pull this weatherproof seal right here out, but there's a groove that that has a little tongue that fits into to hold that. Um, and so that's how we fixed it. And right here is the diagram, um, this little draw up I made to look at while I was, while I was cutting it on the table saw so you can see what the piece of wood looked like that we replaced it with. And right here is the other side of the door frame where we did the exact same thing. We just cut out a bottom piece and, and shimmed it and leveled it and nailed it in. And that's what we did. This brick mold over here, this is a new piece of brick mold. That's real easy. Just pull that out, cut it, and nail a new one into place and caulk it. Um, total, we spent maybe $20, $4 tube of caulk and about a $14, $15 piece of brick mold right here. And the wood was just out of our scratch pile of it didn't cost us a thing. So those of you who are looking for a solution to that, there you go. Um, and it may not be a perfect solution, but it worked for me. And hopefully it'll hold up for however long we own the house, which probably won't be too much longer, maybe two or three years. Because um, the other option, instead of doing this, my other option was to buy a whole new door frame and at about 170, 180 bucks per door frame, I would rather try this out. And if it doesn't work, then later I can do the door frame. So there you go. If you have any questions, or comments, post them, and I'll let you know any other details you need to know.